My name is Tim Sutinen from PrivacyProShop.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get two session messenger identities working with Android. This is done on Graphene OS, which is on Android version 13 at the moment, but it should work with any recent version of Android. So the first thing to do is to go and download and install the F-Droid version of Session which is an unofficial version of Session. There it is. It has the Google Firebase cloud messaging code removed. That's the um, code that allows push notifications in the so-called fast mode. I'm going to install this. Need to allow the network permission, then hit install. And this video is brought to you by privacyproshop.com, where you can buy session ONS names with cryptocurrencies like Monero and Bitcoin. You can also pay with credit cards. Then the next thing to do is to go to the Aurora store, which is a anonymous front end to the Google Play Store and search for Session Messenger. and go ahead and install the official version. If for whatever reason, Google Play Store or the Aurora Store don't work for you, you can also get the official APK version from GitHub. You can just get it, just go to um, getsession.org and tap on the APK and it'll download it. But here we'll install this and it's it's done. Now let's go, go this. I'm going to show you how you can get the APK version. You can go to get session.org. And here just tap on the APK right there and it'll start the download. Actually, it'll give you throw you here and then choose what you want. The, Mine was the very first one, the session 1.16.5 ARM64 V8 A APK. So just tap on that to download it if you want it that way. But again, it is the same as the one that you get from the Aurora store or from the Google Play store if you happen to have a, a spy phone still. So looks like only one of them put an icon here. So I'm going to go and get the icon for here. So there is session. Let's put it right there. Okay, so here we have them installed. Let's fire up Session F-Droid first. We'll allow it to send notifications. And then you can either create a Session ID or you can import your previous Session ID. I'm going to create one here. Continue. Type in a display name. In this case, I'm going to type in ID and the numeral 1, ID1. Slow mode, since this is the F-Droid version of it, the only one available is the slow mode. So I've gotten it created. To make this different from the second one, I'm going to change the, the default appearance. to Ocean Light. And then I'm going to copy this uh, ID. Here we go. I've copied it to the clipboard. Then I'm going to start the regular session, the official version of session. I'm going to allow it to send notifications. In this case, I'm going to create a session ID. Continue. Display name of ID, the numeral 2. Click Continue. In this one, I will choose the slow mode because my phone does not have any those Google Firebase services. So I'm going to have to choose the slow mode. If you do have a regular spy phone, an Android with 
the normal Google services, you can choose the fast mode, and then your notifications of the new messages work a whole bunch better. And here I am going to start a session. I'm going to send a new message to the uh, first one, which to the ID number one, which I copied to the clipboard. I'm going to send next, hit next. I'm going to type a message. Hello. And then I'm going to go to the first version of session. And in a mo oh, yep, there it came, message request. So I'm going to accept it by clicking on it. You can hit accept if you want, but you don't have to. If you just type something back, that will do the same as accept. And go back to the listing of confirmation of those, then let's switch back to our other session here. And there came the message. All right, including a notification. So now we have, there you have it, we have two separate versions of, of session installed. Now I'm going to show you where these are located. So open up the file manager, hit the, uh, that icon right there, go to Android, go to data, and here you will see Network Loki Messenger. That is the official version. And then Network Loki Messenger F-Droid is the F-Droid version. And here you can see all the stuff that's in there. So they're completely separate.